hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is eliza at eliza journals if you're new here welcome if not welcome back so today i'm going to be showing you two planners that i picked up from paper test design and i'm actually going to just go ahead and open up the box i pre-opened the box already before the camera because i swear these boxes be like well they they are like literally steel proof um so i pretty much just went ahead and took the tape off and then we can just open this part together <laughs> oh man i have been having a time getting these boxes open and paper test design if you're not familiar with her shop i can link everything below in the description um when i ordered from her shop i did not know she lived all the way in like germany but i thought it was going to take a long time to get here and i mean it really didn't it took about the appropriate amount of time considering her logistics so i wonder where they get this little scrunchy paper from <laughs> so it says paper test design and then it has her website so this is cute paper and I'm pretty sure I can repurpose this. I'll give it to my mom. Trust me. She loves to repurpose gift wrapping paper. Okay. So then it comes with a, just a little note to say thank you. So a thank you letter and then let's connect. I, I really like that. The thank you letter is with really like the thank you card or let's connect card. So it has like all her social media handles, her Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, youtube channel her etsy shop her email so that's really cute and then on the back um if you're not happy with your order you pretty much her contact information to where to find her to see if there's a solution but this is a really cute car you can actually repurpose this for like a crafting project okay so i'm going to i, I bought two of them but i'm going to start with the a6 size this is the a6 chapter 25 the yearly notebook edition and i'm going to be honest with y'all the real reason i really purchased this right was because of the color so if you are faithful and watching my youtube you already know that my favorite color is green <laughs> so i think that's i think everyone should know that by now who's seen my videos but when i saw this green i was not even intending on buying a new planner but when i saw this planner when i saw i, I was like i'm getting it i don't even know what it looks like i'm i'm getting it um and so this is an a6 size which i have been falling in love with the a6 size i don't know why but the a6 size is just really appealing to me because it's very pocket friendly it's very small it's very discreet and you could just pick this up to go with you wherever you're going so with this um 25 edition so it had the grid size so i'm just gonna actually you know just flip it open to let's see okay so the grid size is four millimeter so for people who don't have small handwriting this still is like a very appropriate size for you me i probably can literally write two lines per grid but that's just me because i use extra fine nibs so it's a four millimeter grid the paper is Sanzen tomorrow river paper it's 52 gsm um, I'm going to be doing pen tests in all of my planner soon and I'm going to be doing that in a video so that you can actually see in real time like how the paper reacts to fountain pens and if it reacts to brush markers and let's see what else and um, mild liners and just other gel pens so it's 500 so it's 520 pages it as you can see it completely lays flat the corners are round which i really do like round corners and then in the back of the planner you have 24 
Okay, so I would just say you have 24 extra pages for you to take some notes or journal or do whatever you want to do in the back of it. And I really do like that it is not a lot of pages in the back. And I really appreciate that because to be honest, I've seen planners where this is the planner and then all this is like extra pages and into in my mind i'm thinking why so i do love that she actually only has like a small amount of pages in the back for you to maybe keep some notes or do some daily journaling so i really like that the whole notebook is comprised of the entire year instead of blank notebook pages so you have a yearly overview on so when you first open it up it has who this belongs to and then it has an index section or reference section for you to maybe write down the page number and what's on what page i really don't worry about index pages i never have liked them so i probably won't even be using the index page for what it's in for its intended purpose all the pages are completely numbered i know in some of my planners that i've purchased only the blank only the extra note pages in the back of the planner are numbered which i really really hate that and then so you have a yearly overview on two pages which are these and you can actually use these blank spaces to create future logs or you can put whatever you want there it doesn't have to be used for its intended purpose you can find a creative purpose for those and you can also use this as trackers if you want as well so then you have two pages for tracking. So this is, I mean, the layout is really, really cute. I really, really love this layout. So you can actually use, so it has, so it's, of course, it's dated 1 through 31, and then it's January through December, and you can use this to track any habits that you, you're wanting to track. You can also use these if, like, you were using this just pretty much as a daily journal, you can actually use these to track like your fountain pen inks, like your daily fountain pen inks. Like today I use platinum lavender black and you can color that in. I don't think you necessarily can write in it, but I think you can actually maybe abbreviate the fountain pen ink. So that's how I would use it because I'm just extra like that. <laughs> so then when you turn it over, you have like your quarterly pages so this is three vertical you have three vertical months per page so this is january to march april to june july to september october to december and you can actually use these as well to maybe log like your workouts or log your mood like today i was not good or angry or anxiety or you can even use this as like a medication tracker today i took my medicine at 7 p.m or you can just note like what movie you watched today or what book you read or how many pages you read of what book so you can pretty much really get creative with this so then when you turn it over you have quarterly pages on eight pages and it's three horizontal months per page and then you have a note page. So you can also get creative with this as well. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this planner yet. So I really haven't really sat down and figured out what I really wanted to do. But I do know that I am using this next year. Even if I have to make up a reason to use this. But this may be my... I'm thinking of... So this is the note page that I was telling you about, but I'm thinking of maybe utilizing this as my budget planner because it's really small and I want something that's small. I write small anyway. So then you go into the monthly pages. So the monthly pages is two pages per month. So as you can see, because one month can just cannot fit on one page. So it's like this. And then you have a blank section for you to probably write notes or jot some journaling things down or 
attract some things you i mean you can use this it's blank so you can use it however you want to okay so then when you turn over of course it starts at the ending of december to the beginning of january so you have this weekly page and then you have seven blank pages so pretty much it's really like you have an overview right here so you can probably put here like your top priorities and then what i would do is of course me i like vertical i would probably just draw a line for each single day so it would be like monday tuesday wednesday then thursday friday saturday sunday and then i still would have two three pages so really i would have to probably revamp so maybe i would use like one page per day so this would be monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday like that so i don't waste any of the pages and it's pretty much the same way for the entire year and i do like that it is compact and what i mean when i say compact i'll show you it has the month directly in front of the weeks so you really don't have to go all the way back to the front to look at the calendar it's really just directly in front of the week so i really really like that because that is a well thought out so it is like that through the entire book and like i said when you get to the end it is 24 blank pages blank grid pages that you can do anything with you can journal write swatch make make a washi page um so pretty much you can do anything with those 24 pages so i really really like this i really love that it does lay flat so when it says it lays flat it actually does so that's the a6 size so now let's get into this size so this is very comparable to the hobonichi week size i would say the hobonichi weeks mega not the hobonichi weeks regular but the mega size this actually kind of reminds me a little bit of sweet freckle design um like basically like the width and length of it and i'm actually going to see so sorry if i have to get this in front of you i'm actually going to see if i can actually fit this with this um because my sweet freckle design was not able to fit in my like a regular hobonichi weeks cover um but it did fit my mo term so this should this should fit so i want to just try this out first so i may have to end up buying a mo term cover to fit this because i am using both of these i just don't know what for yet so actually yeah it does fit it's literally like a perfect fit okay so this is the weekly notebook so the line spacing is 4.5 millimeter the grid is four so the spacing so i really like this so if you write big you can you're still able to utilize this and as the a6 is 52 gsm the paper is white it's tomo river paper sanzen and i know some people are saying that they're having some issues with the hobonichi techo like pretty much like the hobonichi paper so we'll actually pen test it like i said in another video it is 380 pages it has round corners and it does lay flat and it has about 224 extra note pages in the back of the planner so when we flip to the front we have of course who it belongs to and you have like pretty much like the calendar for the entire year on two pages and then you actually this is pretty much like i would say a note section for you to probably jot some future things down and then when you turn the page you have a yearly overview on two pages and then you have the yearly overview tracker on two pages so this is january february march and april and then you have may june july august so you have two months on every two pages and then this is utilized for habit tracking or it can be it can be whatever you want it to be 
then it moves into the monthly calendar so the monthly calendar is on two pages per month and it's like this all the way to December and then it goes into January 2026 then there is a blank section a two-page blank section and then it moves into the weekly section which i absolutely love i absolutely love this this is pretty much can be utilized as habit tracking as well and i love that it's you know of course it's already dated and i really try to stay away from dated planners but i really really love the layout i actually enjoy the layout and i would definitely be able to utilize this section up here for like some notes or maybe some priorities so when you come down now you are looking into the weekly overview so it is two pages per week so you have pretty much like a priority section here and then you can add notes here and then this is monday through sunday for you you could probably do some habit tracking but you can actually really get creative because there is nothing here that says you have to do something specific here so you can utilize this as well as habit tracking and like i said i really don't know what i'll be doing with this yet because really when i saw the color i just ordered it and then this is just like some extra note section so you can do like a to-do list grocery list so you can actually label these sections whatever you need to label them as even though it's dated you're still able to use the planner how you want to use the planner to make it functional for you and then it's like that all through the planner and then like i said in the back you do have 224 extra pages to jot down some notes this is where you have to be really creative with all the extra pages that are in the back. So this is where I'm probably going to get stuck at trying to figure out what to do with all the extra pages because I really don't like when pages are all the way in the back when they really should be behind the individual weeks. And that's just how my brain thinks about it. However, it is a beautiful planner. I love that it is numbered. It is dated. So I think I'm gonna have fun using this. Now I just have to figure out what I wanna use it for because it is dated. And I don't really know if I want to redate this, maybe. I could not use it and just redate it in 2026, but that means that I would have to redate all the calendars as well. And I don't really think I wanna do that because that's extra money. But I really love the layout I just wish, like, this just reminds me of the Sterling Ink. I just wish these extra blank pages were directly behind the week. So I know this is probably made to combine journaling and planning together. But some, most of the time, I really like to keep my journaling and my planning separately. I just don't like combining them. However, I really do love the layout. I love a vertical layout, a really great vertical layout. So it was well thought out. And the thing that just caught me was the color. The color is, I'm sorry, the color is everything to me. I love green. So if you stay to the end of the video, put a green heart in the comments. Let me know how you like the video. Catch me on my social medias. If you do not have the notification bell on, make sure you turn it on so you can be notified when I upload videos. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.